I am driving back from the cities in the Chevy Bolt 2023 Chevy Bolt EV and I filled up to 100% when I left the house reset after two miles on the road excellently but <clears throat> right now there is 217.5 uh, miles that I've gone on this charge so far. It says I have 32 miles of range left and the charger I want to get to is 23 miles away. So I'm just going to quickly document if I make it. We'll see. I do want to say for the last, I don't know, since it said there's 48 miles of range, it's been estimating about seven to eight miles of range left at that point. And even now it's stating that there should be about seven miles of range left. So cross our fingers. And also, <clears throat> just for the record, we are doing 65 miles an hour. And even at the speed, it's like 14, at least right now, kilowatts of use, 15 kilowatts of use at 65 miles an hour. So, on our way. The thing to keep note, uh, the temperature outside, it's uh, 82 degrees running to the car. My Apple Watch is stating it is 78 degrees and stuff. We have 25 miles of range left, minimum 20. <clears throat> last little bit just to be on the safe side I did drop it down to 60 but now it's only using like 12 kilowatts of power which isn't too bad and stuff Turn the air on I have it at 74 but being it's 82 open so I'm feeling some cool air so it's nice not throwing too much power 4.1 miles to go now it's saying no propulsion power is reduced can we do it All right, pulling in here, <clears throat> 800 feet. No, we've gone 240 miles, 0. 0.4, or 240.4 miles. Sorry, I say that right. My luck, somebody would be at the charger, right? They're not. So, and then I'll get how many miles. You've entered the parking left. lot for your destination. All right. Arrive. Arrived. All right. And root. Put it in the park. And so it says 240.5 miles, averaging 4.2 miles per kilowatt hour for that trip. So, and I will check to see what the app says we've got for mileage and, and uh, battery percentage. So I checked the app, <clears throat> and the app does say that there is 4% of the battery left and 7 miles of range. So that would put this at 247.5 um, miles, which I have to check what the range is when new. But this says 40,700 miles on the car. So... So at 40,000, almost 41,000 miles, this thing can still do at EPA range. And this trip was all highway miles. So that was going um, 75, 65 miles an hour. I mean, actually one time it was pegged out at 93, but anyways, so it, it can still do almost 250 miles after the car has uh, 41,000 miles on it. So that's pretty good. Last time I did a battery test on this at 40, just under 40,000 miles, it pulled in 66 point, like three, four or three, five kilowatt hours. And people are like, oh, that's not how you uh, estimate range on the bolt, but, or not range, but battery capacity. But I don't know, on every other EV you seem to do that. So 
I don't see why it'd be different with this. And it's still showing that it can get that 200 and almost 50 miles of range even after 41,000 miles. So if that doesn't say zero battery degradation, I don't know what does. All right, let's start this up. All right, <clears throat> this machine says that we've got 3% of the battery and it's went up to 49 kilowatts of speed. I think the maximum on this car is 55, 54. I've never seen it, but it's pulling right about what it should, so. All right, we went down to the cities today because I've got three EVs now. So with three EVs, being in Minnesota in the winter, I have to keep them all plugged in in the wintertime, at least to keep the batteries at freezing or just below freezing. They don't have to keep them at room temperature, so it doesn't use all that much power. So this device here, um, <clears throat> it's going to be set at uh, 24 amps. I'm going to plug this into... Um, I'm going to run a, a line out, but it's going to be plugged into a switch that diverts energy from the um, dryer outlet, which is a 30 amp. So this is going to be set at 24 amp, um, which is going to be more than enough for level two charging to keep the battery warm on one of the three EVs. Because so I do have two other EVSE at the house um, that I charge at least two of the EVs on. So this one, I won't necessarily be using it for charging the EVs, even though it can at 24 kilowatts, um, but at uh, 24 kilowatts, uh, anyways, um, is it 24 amps, 24 amps, sorry, 24 amps. So, um, so that, and then also picked up a trip driving around everywhere. So I picked up a used, well, it's not even used car cover. So that's going to be for one of the vehicles that sits in the winter while it's the battery's being kept warm. This cover apparently was never used, is what the owner said, but don't they all? But got it for 25 bucks. that's not too bad. And then picked this up for 75 and this is a 20-foot reel. The previous owner stated it was like 1000 bucks, And then this unit here um, will run through the wall and just plug into the dryer outlet. So I'm going to go over and use the facilities, much needed. All right, so we did it. Roughly 247 miles of range after 41,000 miles.